Are you feeling like really exhausted all the time? Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you sometimes like cry after a day at your boutique or is are you like easily frustrated and you feel like, I just really want to get to the next level. I don't know how to get there and I don't want to be exhausted when I get there and I don't want to feel like, I don't want to feel like I've done all this for nothing. Maybe you can relate. Uh, maybe you're in a spot where you feel like things have gotten a little bit tougher in your boutique, even though you're making more money, even though you've gotten to a next level that you feel really good about. Like you feel like, wow, I have so much money in the bank. Wow, I have so much money coming in. This is amazing. Uh, but you're still working like 12 hours a day. You're still working every day. Like maybe you have a day or two off week. Maybe you, I don't know, is this resonating with you? Do you like feel at all like this makes sense to you in your situation? I wanna talk to you about this because it is a problem with entrepreneurs, with boutique owners, um, with women, <laughs> like basically all women. Uh, and I am seeing a serious problem popping up when I hang out with women who are doing really well, women who are perceived as really, really successful, I see this problem coming up over and over and it's gotta stop. Because here's the thing, is when you work so much, when you're doing so much, then everything else can fall to the wayside. Everything else will fall to the wayside and it will go in a bad spot. So. I'm gonna finish my intro. Hi, I'm Emily Benson. I'm the Forbes and InStyle featured founder of Stylish and Successful and the former owner of the fashion truck. Thanks for joining me. I am now a coaching consultant for boutique owners who want to make more money and have more fun. And I'm gonna put the emphasis tonight on the have more fun because I think a lot of you who follow me are making a good amount of money. I think you follow me because you see that I'm having fun. I think you follow me because my energy is attracting you like a magnet and you're saying like, why does she like, thanks Amisha said that you look so pretty. Thank you so much. I look so pretty because I have a tight self-care routine. I take really, really good care of myself and I am still doing amazing in my business. Hi Janelle, it's so good to see you. If you're joining me, say hi. I'd love to see you joining me. I see there's a bunch of people jumping on. Hi Candace, good to see you. Um, I'm gonna share this really quickly from my iPad. Um, inside my group, it's called the Fashion Truck Tribe. It's my free group for anyone who is, um, anyone who has a boutique business. It's for you. Hey, Ambry, good to see you. Um, and I'm gonna write a post. All you have to do to join my group is literally just search for it on Facebook, The Fashion Truck Tribe, and um, join me. There's so many good resources, all for free. If you're looking for vendors, if you're looking for truck information, if you're looking for brick and mortar information, market information, we have it all in there. So I'd love to have you over there joining me. Hi, Frisa. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Jessica. Good to see you guys. So like, I want to talk about this epidemic. Hi, Tracy Wood. Good to see you. Hi, Ash. Um, I want to talk about this problem that keeps coming up and I've been taking a lot of notes on it. Um, and it's something that I have overcome. So I'm speaking to you from a place where do I have moments that I work a little bit too much because I'm excited or um, maybe I push myself a little bit too hard on a couple days, things like that? Yeah, totally. Don't get me wrong. There was a time where I was tired literally all the time though. There was a time when I was so tired that I didn't know what day it was. I was just doing more stuff thinking, oh, this is gonna make me more money, or oh, I have to be doing this because I see someone else doing it and they should. I, I should probably do it because they look successful and I think I should be doing that too. And what I wanna tell you is that number one is the more successful someone is, I would not count on the fact that they feel fulfilled. I would not say necessarily that every successful person, as we look at them, is fulfilled, is having fun, is in a place where they have joy happening every day in their life. And so I want to very quickly check in with you and make sure, are you having fun? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel really good? Like, 
Are you free of worry? Are you free of exhaustion? Um, how are you feeling? How are you checking in with yourself every day? Give me some hearts if you are someone who feels tired a lot of the time. Um, and maybe you are doing really well in your business. Maybe you feel very successful. Maybe you feel like, oh my gosh, like my business is really kicking ass. Like I'm making 20, 30, $40,000 a month, maybe 50 to $100,000 a month. Maybe like you're like, this is going really well and I'm really excited about it. But at the end of the week, I am so tired. I can't pick myself up off the floor. I don't have a lot of friends anymore. Um, I don't do a lot of activities with other people or, you know, maybe I hang out with my family a lot. That's great. You know what I mean? But maybe I'm always checking my email. Maybe I'm always thinking about, oh, is there another order going to be placed, you know, or I have to run back to the store to fix X, Y, and Z because you're doing all of it, right? Um, Scarlett says my business is booming. I'm tripling my sales from last year and I'm exhausted. Ambry says mentally exhausted, all of the above. Okay, you guys, so this is something I can totally relate to. And this is something I want to tell you that I have cured in myself. And I'm starting to teach it to more people. Um, burnout is real. Workaholism is real. And I don't think it's like a bad thing necessarily. Um, but I don't think that it's a helpful thing. And I think that there's a certain point in your business where you start making really good money and you feel really comfortable but you haven't shifted your mindset from the ways that you were when you were just starting out and you did have to hustle a little bit more, right? Because I think like when you are starting out, like you do need to, I don't know, you do need to put a little bit more effort in, right? To get your name out there, to really develop your product assortment, get, get things rolling, right? The first year or two, you're kind of like, all right, here we go. We got to get this engine out of the station, right? This train out of the station. Then you get to a certain point where like the train's chugging, like you're good. You're making money. Things are good. You're keeping up, but like keeping up isn't fulfilling you anymore. Like you feel like you want more, you know there's more for you, you know you need to rise up to the next level, but you're not sure how to do it. Can you give me some hearts if you relate? Like, you know that those 20, 30, 40, $50,000 months need to turn into like 60, 70, 80, 100, 120, maybe you're already at 100, maybe you're already at 90, maybe you're already at 80, you want them to be 150, 200, 300, thousand dollar months. Okay. I'm talking about thousand dollars. And there's some of you watching that are like, Emily, you are effing crazy. I, I can't even imagine myself at that number right now. And that's okay. What I want you to know is that you will get there. <laughs> you will probably be exhausted when you get there. Um, and that's my, my mission right now. I feel really strongly about helping more women who have reached a level of success that they feel comfortable and they feel good about what's going on. They feel really good. But the next level requires a new level of commitment, a new level of commitment to themselves, taking care of themselves, setting more boundaries, doing more energy management work, setting up more of a corporate structure, doing all of this stuff that when you started out having fun, slinging clothes, making t-shirts, you know, uh, setting up your e-commerce site, you never thought you'd get to this point, but here you are. Does this make sense? Here you are in a place where you are like kicking butt and taking names, but like you just feel like you don't have enough time to do anything else but kick ass and take names, right? The solution for this is easy, okay? It can take some discipline, I'll tell you. It's taken me a lot of discipline over the past, I'd say a uh, year I've really been working on this because I was really prone to burnout. Um, I really love, I love my work. I love what I do. I did this in my last business too, and I'm just repeating it, but I'm not repeating it because I've shifted my behaviors. And it's so easy to quickly go into that, right? And so what we need to do is shift the pattern. What we need to do is change the habits. And that's what I'm starting to teach more and more because I know there's this gap of people that I haven't really spoken to, mostly because I haven't been ready to talk to you because I've been working on my own shit. <laughs> I've been working through this on my own and I'm coming out the other side saying, I can teach women how to set up a corporate structure, how to make sure that they're setting boundaries, how to protect themselves, how to allow them to work less. Like how little would you like to work? Let's talk about that. 
right? It's not about how much do you wanna work, it's about how little do you wanna work and still make the money, still have the impact that you're making in your business. Those, you're the person I wanna to talk to you right now because what I'll tell you is I work less and less and less as my income grows and my influence grows and my, it's all comparison. So normally we think, oh, we, we're making more money, we should be working harder. It's the opposite. As we make more money, as our business becomes more established, we should be working less and less, okay? That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Nicole says, friends, what are those? Exactly. I will tell you, I was at a baby shower this past weekend and I saw someone checking their email and I almost was like, oh, I should check mine. And then I was like, no, it's my weekend. <laughs> this is a day off. I've committed to being here. I'm hanging out with my mom and I'm not gonna check my email. And I didn't check my email. I didn't check, nothing's gonna explode. And guess what? I have an assistant who checks my email, answers my email. Most of you guys only hear from Holly. You don't hear from me a lot. Unless there's something really major going on that you really need help with, you're gonna hear from Holly because she can handle most of the problems, right? Or most of the issues or questions or whatever, right? And, and that's, that's a boundary I've set. So like you guys, you gotta learn how to start to set boundaries, right? When you start to get to this new level. Start to learn to set boundaries. Um, I just gotta check the time here, okay. You've gotta to learn to start to set boundaries, which means saying no to a lot of things, okay? And if this is resonating with you, I really would love for you to send me a DM. I just opened a program. Um, it's a really small, intimate program that is sort of between Six Figure Blueprint and one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's more customized and more personalized um, than Six Figure Blueprint, but it's not, it's not all the way my one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is high value, high price, but this is a high vibe, high level, mastermind program. I'm calling it the seven figure boutique mastermind. It's for women who are already making 20, 30, 30, 20, 30, 40,000, 50,000 dollars up to 100, 110,000 dollars and they want to go to the next level. Okay, they're ready to like double that and again, I can't guarantee these numbers, but they're ready to like learn what it's going to take to get to that next level. Okay? It's really important to know <laughs> that there is a next level. If you've plateaued, if you've been at this level, like if you've had been 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 30, 20, if you've been hanging out in that range, something's up. We got to get you to that next level. You should always be growing your business. And it doesn't necessarily have to like triple, double, whatever in a month, but it does need to be growing. There does need to be more momentum behind it. And those are the women that I'm looking to support right now because that's where I've taken my business. And that's where I have started to implement very specific things around setting boundaries, creating schedules, getting support, getting help. Um, a lot of this work has to do with setting yourself up for that next level of success. So if this is something that you're interested in, like I said, the requirement to even be considered for this is hitting those 20, 30, 40, you must be at at least $20,000 consistent months. Um, so if you're new, if, you've, if you're not there yet, that's okay, this isn't gonna go away, it'll, it'll come back next year, I'm sure. Um, once you're there, it's something to right, rise up to. Um, but it's a very small group program. Uh, it's me working with you in a more individualized way, more customized way, less workbooks, more interaction. Um, so send me a DM, okay? But here's the thing, you guys, you need more of this stuff. You need better marketing. You need Facebook ads that run all the time, right? You, and, and, and you don't need to talk to Facebook about it because they don't know what they're talking about. Facebook has been running a lot of ads to get you guys to call them and have a marketing guru. They don't know what they're doing. I'm just gonna be very honest and Facebook might hate me for this, but those Facebook gurus are like just trained off a script. They've never spent their own money to run ads. Like I have spent thousands of dollars from my own ads, gotten massive returns from running those ads. Um, and you need to set up more email funnels, more structure in those emails, and, and make sure that those emails are turning into sales, turning into repeat customers, right? Setting up those systems and structures is really important. And really tightening up what your brand looks like, what your product discernment looks like, cutting out the fat, cutting out the things that aren't working, tightening things up. This is all really, really important. Um, so hopefully some of this resonated with you. Um, Debbie said, yep, that happened to me last night. Awesome. Hi, Anne. Good to see you. Um, Becca says she's not quite there yet. Um, 
but you're gonna get there, girlfriend. Definitely don't hang out with my friends. I feel you, Frisa. Yeah. So you guys, if this is resonating with you, send me a DM. I want to talk about this, okay? First time in 12 years I ever heard from a Facebook guru. I'll tell you, Debbie, they're not Facebook gurus. I know they like to say that they are, um, but I will tell you, like, they don't know as much as we know because we're in the thick of it, okay? Um, be careful about those Facebook marketing experts. I will, they think they're experts. They're like 25 year old kids, like out of school um, on a script. So just be careful, okay? Um, that's what I'll tell you. So they have not spent their own hard earned dollars to uh, run their own ads and take risks like we have. Um, so just know that. So, um, all right, I'm gonna jump off because I actually have a one-on-one -on -one call with one of my mastermind members. So the group is filling up. If this is something you want, the price is gonna go up on Friday. So DM me as soon as possible. If you wanna get on the phone and talk about it, I have some spots open tomorrow and Friday, but Friday the price is going to go up considerably and we start group co we start our group coaching calls on Monday, okay? So you'll get one-on-one -on -one calls with this, you'll get group coaching calls, you'll get a Facebook group, you'll get me really starting to understand your business and like helping you refine your business, okay? So if you're a boutique owner, if you sell products, um, if you're a wholesaler, all that stuff we can work on. Like I wanna see you guys all make a million dollars and maybe you're not there yet and that's okay, but maybe you're getting close. A million dollars, I'll tell you a year of revenue, is only $80,000 a month. That's it. And I say that with the most confident money mindset because I've done all the money mindset work in the world. Um, yes, I'm so worth the money. Uh, Ashley is one of my one-on-one -on -one students from last year, my one-on-one -on -one clients, and uh, she's amazing. Thanks, guy. Thanks, Ash. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you really soon. Thanks for joining me, and uh, DM me if you want to talk about this. Bye.